I love people. People are really one of the big reasons why I found out and realized that I would love this job. To hear stories from people, whether they're in the community in terms of guests and visitors to the museum, or whether it's uh, just hearing more about what's happening in our uh, community and engaging with folks on that level. But then it, again, it's the organizational size there, making sure that the museum's operational and running in a, in a great way, making sure our staff has the resources that they need. So going through some of those day-to-day -day processes to make sure that the museum is on a solid footing. My name is Ben Southset. I'm a lifelong Wichita. I get to serve as the president and the CEO of the Kansas Aviation Museum. I graduated from high school in 2000, and I started going to WSU right out of high school. I went a year and realized that I probably wasn't mature enough to be there yet. I ended up getting out of college. As I got into my career, I realized that probably going back to school would be a great idea. So last uh, fall, I re-enrolled at WSU, and here I am almost about done with my junior year. It took a little bit of convincing. Uh, I was 40 when I re-enrolled. It has been a little bit of a challenge uh, just to figure out what is that right piece, what's the right uh, lo workload. Uh, personal life is important. I have a wife and son, and so making sure that I'm active and present there. The WCU team was great from the registrar's office to the academic office there. Uh, my uh, advisor is phenomenal. I love working with her and just helpful through all that. Organizational leadership and learning is my degree. Professor Ross has been phenomenal. I love his classes. They've challenged me as a leader within an organization. How I approach not just the business aspect, but the interpersonal relationships with staff, with visitors, with donors, all of those things. I didn't realize how much I was going to benefit from it until after I got into it. If you would have asked me three years ago, when I first interviewed almost to the day today, I never would have imagined some of the opportunities that I've been given. I will say without, or unequivocally, I'm a better leader of an organization because I've taken the time to return and do some of those hard things there. Yeah, you have to count the cost. It is a sacrifice, but it's important to get in there and to learn and to continue to grow no matter the age you're at.